हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ अमी मेहता एंड वेलकम टू दिस सेशन प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग दो इन फर्स्ट यूनिट वी डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज एक्चुअली कॉम्प्यूटर एंड वॉट इज प्रोग्रामिंग सो द फर्स्ट यूनिट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कॉम्प्यूटर एंड प्रोग्रामिंग सो दिस इज द बेजिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस यूनिट इज ब्लॉक डायग्राम एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर वॉट इज द कंसेप्ट of hardware and software various types of software compiler and interpreter concepts of machine level assembly level and high level programming and last is flowcharts and algorithm so let us start with first topic which is block diagram of computer okay so how actually computer is a look alike okay so the first is the main component of the computer is this central processing unit so this is the central processing unit in which there are two components control unit and arithmetic and logic unit okay so these two are basic parts of actually central processing unit okay and this component is storage unit secondary storage and primary storage to store data which means actually memory so which is actually divided in two parts secondary storage and primary storage so what is the actual task of computer that we give data which uh, actually given by input uni unit means keyboard mouse etc and we get output unit means which type of data we required okay so we give input through input unit means give input Uh, devices and we get output from output devices so we see our output in monitor or we can get the output uh, from printer okay so this is the basic diagram of computer that uh, the main component is input unit or input devices output devices or output unit and the main core of the computer is central processing unit and but obvious we required memory okay so this is the basic block diagram of computer now what is actually hardware and what is software the simple definition of hardware the things which can we touch is nothing but the hardware means monitor speaker keyboard mouse microphone cpu this all are the hardware okay so basically the things which we can touch by our hand is nothing but the hardware okay now what is software so a computer software is a set of instruction for a computer to perform a specific task if we want particular specific task then what we do we prepare a set of instruction for particular computer and then we given to the computer and we uh, find the output so this is nothing but the software so the input is given to computer and we get output but in a uh, form of instruction okay so this is software so software we can't physically touch because this is a set of instruction not a physical thing okay so this is hardware and software now uh, various types of software so what are the various types of software that uh, for particular system there is a system software to design some application application software engineering scientific software embedded software in iot nowadays um, the using embedded software product line software web application and artificial intelligence software so um, software in basic thing nothing but a set of instruction or a program okay but uh, when we go for in wide terminology then there are various types of software for particular application or thing like a system application then for purpose of engineering okay these types are based on the particular purpose if it is used for particular application then it is application software if 
this is uh, used for particular artificial intelligence then it is nothing but the artificial intelligence software okay so these are the various types of softwares the next topic here we study is compiler and interpreter so what is actually compiler and interpreter a compiler is a special program that processes statements written in a particular programming language and turns them into machine language or code that a computer's processor uses so a uh, compiler is a nothing but a, a particular special type of program what is the task of that program that it converts particular programming language into machine language or we can say that code that computer's processor uses okay uh, now what is interpreter so an interpreter is a computer program that directly executes instruction written in a programming or scripting language without requiring them previously to have been compiled into a machine language program so interpreter is also a computer program which directly executes instruction in particular programming or scripting language okay so it is not necessary that it previously compiled okay so we uh, discuss its difference okay so in visually now we can understand what is actually compiler so compiler is a uh, now com what is the task of compiler so here it is program now program is compiled by compiler and converted into machine code now this code this machine code is actually understand by computer system and now it is give us the output okay so this is the actually uh, basic task of compiler we do not write this machine code but we write uh, particular code in um, programming language now compiler compile this program and convert it into machine code now uh, interpreter now interpreter directly convert this into a uh, without compiling directly convert into code which is understood by computer so here is the basic difference between compiler and interpreter now compiler takes entire program as input while interpreter takes single instruction as input so compiler execute whole program whole code as a input and interpreter takes single instruction as input now in compiler intermediate object code is generated which we will which we shown in figure that one machine code which is nothing but object code is generated while in interpreter no intermediate object code is generated in compiler memory requirement is more while in interpreter memory requirement is less just because in compiler object code is generated so there is memory requirement is more and in interpreter no object code is generated so no need to store it and that's that's why memory requirement is less in compiler errors are displayed after entire program is checked so if there is a 50 lines of code in particular program then after checking all 50 lines error are displayed while in interpreter errors are displayed for every instruction interpreted means if 50 lines of code 50, 50 lines of instructions then after executing one instruction errors are displayed okay so this is the basic difference between compiler and interpreter 